I figured since probably everyone's going to get this guy in their red picks and in the guaranteed Team of the Season Serie A pack, I thought I'd review him. So welcome to this 88 rated Team of the Season Berardi player review. If you want to improve your ultimate team and need some coins to do so, you should check out my sponsor IG Vault. There's a link to do so in the description and if you use the code Kieran, you'll get yourself a nice little discount off your order. So this guy is by far the cheapest Serie A team of the season player and um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna give him a go today. So let's have a look at the card. Left footed on at the right edge, four star skills, three star weak foot, shame about the weak foot. And uh, in game stats, what are we saying? Well the shooting column is actually quite nice, good finishing of 91, nice shot power also of 95. Passing is decent, um, crossing rating isn't the best but the short passing and long passing are pretty nice and the vision isn't too bad either so it could be a pretty good distributor right here. And Maybe you could play him as a cam if you don't mind the lack of weak foot. Maybe his passing seems good enough to me. Um, dribbling looks nice in some areas, not so much in others. Agility is great. Ball control is very nice. Balance not the best. And reactions is good but not great. So uh, a couple of good things and bad things in that column. And then finally the physicals. These are a bit odd. Okay, stamina of 90 at this stage for a pacey winger. Um, strength of 75, that's fine. But um, 99 aggression, so hopefully he does have plenty of fight for the ball. I don't know what it is. Some of the stats just look odd to me, but um, hopefully they perform well in game. We'll find out if this guy's a bargain at 40k in this video, or um, we'll also find out if he's just a waste of time and ultimately will end up as SBC food. Also, finally, we've got the uh, dynamics in the game, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, anyway, let's get into some matches and let's see what Berardi has to offer. Just before we get into some matches though, let's have a look at how chem styles affect this guy. To be honest, basic isn't a terrible option for him and uh, he does get some good ratings. You can get him to be a 95 rated cam, which is pretty cool. Um, but I think we're going to put engine on him. I just think the dribbling boost will be pretty ideal. Obviously give him a nice pace boost as well because his shooting actually seems alright already. So uh, that's the one we are going to go for. But um, as I said, I don't actually think basic's a terrible option for him. Okay, we're up against another pretty good side. He's got a couple of silvers, which I can only assume are going to get subbed out. Singer does well under pressure to get that ball away, and it's a good pass as well to Berardi. His touch hasn't been the best here. We're up against Lacroix, who's a very, very good centre back, and we get the corner. Balls whipped in by Berardi. It's a good one as well, and Ronaldo does not miss chances like those, and he gets. A 7th in this game. Well, he doesn't get a 7th, but he gets a 7th for the team. Nice from Berardi to get around his man. Here's an opportunity. Can he get around? Options in the box aren't the best because in, ultimately Insigne is a midget who is just never winning that. Nice Berardi. Battle away. Love to see it. You know what? He might not be the best player technically. But he tries hard. He fights for the badge. And he puts through a nice ball for Insignia there too. Oh, I don't know how Brad has actually got through there, but he's put a really nice ball in for Ronaldo, which sadly he just didn't get on the end of. And there's full time in this one. After what was a super tight first half, we run away with it in the second half, scoring plenty of goals on the way. It's another game where Berardi really hasn't had, you know, much in terms of attacking output, but once again, he worked hard, and defensively, I don't know why, he's he's quite good. The next team we face looks like this, good fullbacks for him as well, and it's pretty much a full team this season backline, aside from that regular one. Nice from Zielinski, finds Berardi, who's going to link up here, oh, if that ball went through, it would create a great chance. Brady with the defensive clearance. Go on, Brady. Get him behind. Good lad. Good break. Balls whipped into the box. Not a bad ball either, and Lacroix just gets there just ahead of Ronaldo. Well, as you can see, it's been a really fun first 45 minutes. It's um, It's been a battle of the defences, so... Uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be some change in at the second 45 as we switch to a more narrow 4-2-3-1 and bring on Bruno in the middle. Berardi, just well to hold off his man and puts the ball into the box. Actually aimed that towards Ronaldo, but apparently that didn't get picked up. What a tackle from Berardi. Love that defensive effort from him. Berardi once again. Defensive headers, he loves it. Balls it played in behind. It's a brilliant run from Berardi. 
We've now got a chance. We're gonna have to cut back here. Oh, oh ref pen, please. No. Oh, shit. And there's full time. We get ourselves a pretty nice 2 1 victory in what was a very close affair. In that game, Berardi sadly got no goals or assists, which is a bit of a shame, but to be honest, his work rate defensively in that game was uh, pretty mad, and we did not have much of the ball in that game, and he played really, really well from a defensive point of view. So, uh, despite not contributing in attack, I'm actually pleased with uh, the fact that he helped us out just recouping the ball. In this outing then, we are up against a decent back line. He's got two team season centre-backs, and Tavernier and Kieran Tini on either edge. That Berardi, that's a bit worried he was just going to run past it then. Puts her a nice through ball for Quadrada. Go on Berardi, get round Kierantini. Nice, good bit of play. How's the ball into the box? Not bad, you know, considering it's on his weaker foot and he was under pressure there. But uh, fortunately he gets cleared. Ball's in behind here for Berardi. He's in a 1v1 against Kierantini and actually does come out on top. Can we get on the inside here? Ah. Oh. Just didn't react quick enough to get the ball out of his feet and get the ball across the box there. Well, at the break, it's 1-1. Did the typical Kieran thing of conceding right before half-time, which is very frustrating. We're going to switch to the uh, more narrow 4-2-3-1 for the second 45. Ready into Ronaldo. Ball comes back to the Italian. The angle's tight, but that does not matter. What a finish that was with the right foot. Outside the foot shot finish into the side netting. Brilliant finish from Berardi. Come on, Berardi. Done really well in that 1v1 against Kieran Tierney there to get us up the field. Bit of space in the box as well. Ball's whipped in. It's not a bad ball, but didn't really get a clean connection. Well, full time in at this one. We get the win thanks to a match winner from Berardi. Did he do much else other than that one goal? Not really. Didn't get involved as much as I would like, but... Two key moments in this game he was big in, one being the goal and the other being just helping us keep the ball towards the end of the game when we was under pressure. So despite his rating not being great, I'm actually happy with his performance um, in at that match just because of what he did in at the key moments. But I definitely would have liked to have seen him being a bit more involved. Okay then, few games played. What are my thoughts on this Berardi? What are my thoughts on this item which everyone who does upgrade packs this week is going to end up earning at some point? Um... It's an alright card. It's uh, it's okay. I don't think it's as bad as uh, the price actually makes it out to be, but um, I also don't think it stands out in any areas in particular. Like, it's not a terrible card. It's certainly usable, but there are so many better wingers uh, already available in the game, and ultimately that's one of the reasons why he's cheap. Also, obviously, his overall rating isn't the best, and uh, he is getting packed a lot. So, uh, yeah, there is that. But as I say, I don't think it's a terrible card by any means. Certainly usable, just uh, definitely definitely isn't forcing his way into anyone's team. So let's break things down. What did I like about this card? Um, the first thing I want to talk about is his aggression and just his willingness to fight for the ball. I really like that. His physicals in game were very, very good for me. I like the fact that he does put up a fight for the ball and also um, does a decent job in defence as well. You'll have noticed in the clips, we probably had as many defensive clips as we did offensive clips, which actually does suggest a problem, which we'll discuss later in the video. But um, yeah, defensively, for whatever reason, he was actually really, really good for me. And uh, obviously a lot of that is down to the fact that he does have very high aggression and just wants to fight for the ball, which is great. And that also helps when, you know, going forward, when breaking down the wing, because he's got the strength and aggression to battle with fullbacks, which can be definitely beneficial. And he's actually very good for a hold-up play as well. So uh, there are some benefits to uh, all of that. In regards to his pace, I do think he feels quite quick, which is nice. Not super rapid, but um, quick enough. And that's a bit similar to the dribbling. He feels good on the ball, but I don't think he feels great as opposed to some other wingers in the game. For instance, he's got 97 agility. Does he feel like he has that in game? No, certainly does not. His dribbling is good, but it's certainly not great. And uh, that's obviously a bit of a thing that holds him back as a winger. His dribbling just isn't on the level of some other wing options. I actually thought his passing was very good though, short and long. Crossing's not the best though for a wide man. Another reason why I think maybe he could do a good job as a cam. Also worth mentioning, does have a freestyle weak foot and that does limit it, limit him in at the passing department. Um, left foot's great, right foot not so much. 
Shooting with this card though is actually really, really nice. You can certainly wrap his foot around the left footed finesse and his power shots are really, really good. So if you get him in space, he can definitely do a good job for you. And to be fair to him, did actually make some really nice runs for me, which was obviously very pleasing. But ultimately, I kind of touched on it at the start, he's one of these cards, yeah, he's good in some areas, but he doesn't really excel in any in particular. And um, because of that, he's just... Yeah, he's definitely not, you know, top of the list or top of anyone's list for wing options in this game, sadly. Obviously, if you're a fan of the club that he plays for, definitely pick this guy up and give him a go. But other than that, I don't think it's a card worth, you know, going out of your way to get. Not when we've got, like, that Lozano SBC available, which is just much better than this card. And just in general, there's just so many better wing options available in the game, like I've said about 20 times in this video. So, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, he's just not that special. But I do want to uh, reiterate the fact that I don't think he's terrible. I, I, I don't think he's as bad as his price maybe makes him out to be or his rating. I still think he's very, very usable. But um, yeah, just nothing too crazy. Wouldn't go out of my way to have him in the team, as I say. But if you do get him, give him a go, see how he is. But uh, I don't think he's a foot champs player. He's a player that you might want to test out in rivals. But um, yeah, he's not for champs. So guys, those are my thoughts on the 88 rated Bradley. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do drop a like rating on it. In the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts on the item. Subscribe if you are new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.